Welcome to Wealth and Prosperity in the New Testament. This is now the book of Matthew. So the devil took Jesus to the top and showed him the whole world. Said, bow before me and I will give it to you. Jesus rebuked him. Do not sell your soul to the devil for wealth and prosperity. I watched a drama years ago. This man was very poor. He went to a, a fetish priest to do this money ritual for him so he could be rich. The ritualist asked him, what do you have to offer? He said he has nothing. He just wants to be rich. So the ritualist told him to offer his health in exchange for wealth. The man said, I'm healthy. I'm poor. What do I need the health for? Take it. So he gave the health and he became stinkingly rich. However, every day he had one ailment after the other. Today, headache. Tomorrow, neck pain. Next week, back pain. You know, he was constantly sick. He had money. He paid the greatest physicians. They could not heal him. He flew to so many <clears throat> sorry countries. He could not be healed. He had money, but he could not enjoy the money. Eventually, he went back to the ritualist. He said, please give me my health back. Take the money. He said, sorry, we don't do exchange. He died. He suffered and he died. So don't do uh, sell your soul to the devil because you want to be rich. You want to be famous. You see some of them. They just uh, go um, high in a very short while. We just hear the person. They are all over the place. And the next minute, then dead. People will be wondering what happened. They were flying to some arena, sold out arena to go and perform. Plane crash. They're the only person who died. Traveling somewhere to a stadium, sold out. A car crash. Only person who died. See, don't sell your soul to the devil. Because you are chasing after wealth and prosperity. And the book also says, when you give to the poor, give it secretly. Don't be like the hypocr hypocrites. Don't announce it publicly that you are giving. And also take heed. It's not everybody that you give. Be discerning. There are some people that have an evil spirit in them. If you give to them, you end up you know, uh, being spiritually backwards, things will start happening to you. You will lose a lot of things. There are some of your used clothes. You should not give to some people. Give it to charity shops. You know, because the heart of man is desperately wicked. Who can know it? So know the people that you give. You know, but don't be stingy. Bless the money. Cover it in the blood of Jesus and give it out. But if your spirit is telling you, don't give to this person, then please do not give. Give to charity. You know, and then the book also says you cannot serve God and money. So don't place money above God. If God has blessed you, money should not be your God. Money should not be your all in all. Put God first. You cannot serve God and money. And then um, it says um, it's difficult for a rich person to enter the kingdom of heaven. That's if you put money first, then it will be difficult. There are many rich people who are strong Christians. They are born again Christians. Even when you see them, you will not know they are that wealthy unless you are told they are so humble. They wear like uh, simple clothes. If somebody doesn't tell you, you will not know. So if you put money first, then it will be difficult for you to enter the kingdom of heaven. And then Jesus was telling the Pharisees, you pay tithes of your mint and cumin, but you don't show justice. You don't have mercy. You are not uh, uh, faithful. So you can pay your tithes and your offerings, but try to help the poor. You know, don't be there like a uh, legalistic. Oh, this money is my tithes. This money is my offering. I can't, I don't have anything extra to give to the poor, the poor man that was begging you on the way when you were going to church, you couldn't help. Do you know if that was Jesus who appeared to know your heart? Do you know? 
you have to be discerning you know the bible says that some people have been visited by angels or now where they did not know and they missed out on their blessings you are going to church you saw somebody stumble and fall instead of you to help you are rushing i don't want to be late for church and you left the person there and you think you will be blessed that day stop and help the person make sure they are okay god will bless you more than you being early for church you know you, where is your humanity you have to think of all these things and then the final thing in the book of matthew the soldiers were paid a huge sum of money to say that the disciples stole jesus body when they were asleep don't take a bribe you know don't take a bribe then you pervert justice they tell you take this money and turn a blind eye pretend that you didn't see what was happening god frowns at that that will not bring you prosperity so this is wealth and prosperity in the book of matthew god bless you